Stacy and Janice Joy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, all right? Hello, Grace. So scrap, scrap wood. All right, go, go sit down. Uh -huh. Scrap wood doesn't matter what, uh, it doesn't even have to be wood. You could have a piece of styrofoam or something because we're making the garland out of these styrofoam balls. All right, so just something so that you're not gonna poke a hole in your table. Mr. Crafty Servants wouldn't, it wouldn't be happy with me if I did that. Although this table is pretty well wrecked with my paint and everything. So how are you? I'm doing awesome, Myrna. How are you doing? I'm happy to be on here. It takes stress away. Yeah, it really, really does. So, um, and I forgot my garbage bag. <laughs> Um, yeah, it totally takes the stress away being on here, and I appreciate y'all coming on and, and watching. Hi, Ann, Kathy, hello, Sheila. So these size of these balls, I should look. Oh, it's right on here. Um, and you can make them any size. These balls are one and a half inch, or it's, it says number one and a half, so I take it as one and a half inch balls. Thank you, Shelly. Happy Monday to you, too. And I got my bead reamer. Okay, it's it's just pointy. If you have beads and you gotta try and get that middle cleaned out, I finally found it. That's what we're using for this. I needed it. All right, you can get these at Hobby Lobby, though. You probably could get them at Walmart or something like that. Will you show us how you made the large star, please? Oh, okay. Um, I can, I can't though now because I don't think I have another star. Um, I believe I might have done it on a live last year. I'll see if I can find that and download it and re-upload it so that I can show that. It was actually really easy. Um, it might even have been the year before. So, well, I'll see what I can find, all right? Welcome, Sue. Is it raining by you? Here it's it's been hot, 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 humid, um, but today is a beautiful, gorgeous day, but we need rain. I know the South is not getting the rain, or they're getting all the rain. All right, so we need holes in these to put them together. Welcome, Alma. Hot in New Orleans, waiting to see the disturbance move through. See, we we have we were under a storm warning, thunderstorm warning last night, and it completely missed us. I mean, I was getting pop-ups on my phone nonstop saying my little town is in the line, and we didn't even get a drop of rain. We didn't get wind. We didn't get anything. So, all right, let's go. All I'm doing is this bead reamer. These are styrofoam balls. Any size will do. This is the number one and a half, and I just push that down in there. Try and get it as straight as you can. Then I'm gonna get it all the way up. So I did do some of these ahead of time. And I also do it from the opposite way then, just because this top part is fatter and that's where I wanna get it to. The second time isn't as hard. So I can chat while I'm doing this. Somebody had a storm yesterday. It's 83 in North Dakota and no rain, we missed got missed with that stuff last week yeah we are it's so dry so crazy dry um, the lawns are just brown and crispy we started watering our just our front little lawn we've got a big one in the back we don't do anything with Marsha where are you from you had a storm yeah it just seems like the this is early in the year for Wisconsin to have this hot humid scorching dry um, lawns, it's early. We're used to this like July into August, but um, so I'm just like reaming out these styrofoam balls and we're gonna make a cute garland with them. And my thought is this, besides a garland, there's something else you could do with them and I'll show you. It's supposed to get 102 to 109. Oh gosh, so you have to be like, South or Arizona? Thanks, Alma. I actually think I got this last year from Brooks Shop, Brook Refab Shop. I know it's not there anymore, so I won't drop my link. I do have to start using my affiliate link for her shop. She has cute things. 
Shelly in Kansas too, huh? Yeah, it's it's a crazy weather year. We had so much rain last two weeks. We were flooded. Oh. Find the world with crafty servants. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. Oh, Sue, so I would expect it to be hot in Sacramento. Are you guys having fire danger yet? I'm afraid I'm going to actually snap this. This is a pretty cheap one. I think this is probably, I'm sure I got it for like two or three bucks. So if it snaps, <laughs> I would use a drill. Which were perfect, so I didn't even think of that. I, I won't do that here, but I could. That would be easier. It would be less muscle. Thanks for watching. Happy comment in March. So I really love your DIYs. Alma, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Well, I'm glad you're commenting today. So I get it. I mean, there's times I don't comment on other people's either. I just enjoy watching and listening and relax but the comments and emojis and stuff like that really do help crafters spread it on facebook controls um the more people do that the more people they'll show just because i have that many followers it's a minute minute amount that actually get to see what i do so that saddens me yes, what are you making susan i'm making uh, re um, a wreath. Oh, this would be a cute wreath too. Okay, I'm making a garland. Um, it would make an adorable wreath. I would use bigger balls for the wreath. Um, it would make a cute, like a boho wall hanging. You could, it, so all of the above. And you can change it for any decor at all any colors oops i dropped one of my bags i'm only gonna do i'm gonna do two bags of these there's 12 of them in a bag and again these are the number one and a half ball so i take it it's like one and a half inch um you could do any size you want depending depending upon how you want it to look thanks connie there's guy it was at a little boutique again i love our little boutique we have like two of them maybe about half an hour from me. And you know I like hats. Are you using ping pong balls? No, I'm not, Susan. This is, these are styrofoam balls. I got them at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get them at a lot of places. So just wherever you can find them. Like I said, the size will depend upon what you want it to look like and what you want it to do. Can you all see okay? I don't have my light on. So I don't know, the sun just went under so it might be a little dark. All I have is my patio door for a light here. You're welcome, Susan. Hello, Grace, how are you? Grace, put your link out here, Facebook page. Anybody else? I, I don't know that I caught anybody else's names that has Facebook pages um, that does the arts and crafts or anything like that. Um, but please drop it and check her out. She also is with Pharmacist, I think it's called, right? Makeup, and I'm interested in getting some coffee from her. So I'm... <laughs> We've been chatting about that. I am so afraid this is going to come off. Like I said, I'm only going to do these two more. I'm not going to do the whole garland here. I am making a garland, Carol. Uh, Jerry, ooh, Carol, I think it was. Carol, yep. Yeah. I'm making a garland. But I said, you could certainly do this like a boho wall hanging. Would be really cute doing the same technique. Um... You could do a wreath with bigger balls. It would be really, really cute. Same technique. You're welcome, Grace. Well, Heidi, I and I only have a little bit of the makeup. Um, I actually, I know I get some from somebody local, a different kind. Um, but I told Grace I might be signing on with her. I think it just come on the coffee. What is the coffee thing? Susan, it is um, a chicory coffee. 
So I think I'm signing on today and um, I've been chatting with Grace. I think I'm signing on today and I can let y'all know that too. Oh my God, me too and everything else, LOL. <laughs> Grace has been doing it probably for about a month, right, Grace? So yeah, I'm I'm probably signing on today, though. So. All right, let's go. We're going to. So I am doing these colors: the yellow gingham, the yellow and white, and we're doing black and white. All right, and the easiest way, so I can get this out of the way, so my balls are rolling all around. It's pharmacist, I think it's called, Susan. All right, so I folded up my fabric already, and let me just show you. I'll show you on the black, because I don't want to redo this one. So I've got three yards here. I, I know I won't need three yards, but I will use it for something else too. Um, easiest way I have is I fold, you know, it comes already in half. My balls are rolling around. It comes already folded in half on the one edge when you buy it. Then you just fold it up like this and I'm gonna be making, I think I'm gonna use seven inch. I think that will be a good size for this size ball, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna end up cutting um, across and then I'll have a whole long strip. That's my plan. And I think I came up with a seven inch. A six inch might be a little small. I, I wanted a little bit together, but what you could do is if you're going to make several of them or like i mean i don't you even if you like i say you'd use two yards i would measure the width of the fabric and then maybe divide it by three and that would give you the width but just make sure that you're going to be able to do what we need to do with these balls yeah isn't this cute grace so I'm more, I, I mean, I have that back there too. I'm more rustic. I did have all the rustic um, red and taupe gingham, but I decided to do bright today. We need bright and it matches my yellow. So, okay, so after you have it all folded like that, I'm gonna be doing seven inches, but it's so easy to get a long strip when you fold it like that and you have a good sharp scissor. So I'm just gonna take this off because I can follow the line. This is pretty thick. So I am cutting the length of three yards and that's probably really all you need is that one. If you need to, you end up gluing it together. All right. And I did seven inches. So that's my length. So this, oh, this is gonna be plenty for doing, for doing it. All right, next, well, I'll leave that here. We're gonna use this and we're gonna cut strips with this. Now I'll give you another option that I actually, like I said, this is Hobby Lobby inspired. I did see, um, I did see it at Hobby Lobby, but they were using jute and I love jute. You know I love jute, um, but I'm doing it a different way with this. Let's see, I'm gonna fold this again. Um, so I'll show you the jute way and I'll show you with the ties. My favorite would be jute, but I'm, I'm mixing it up today just because I want to. All right, so I'm just gonna cut, well, let's try to do about an inch. But I'm gonna fold this again. It's just so much easier To cut, make sure I cut on the same. All right, I'm gonna cut, and so I'd say it's probably like an inch that I'm doing.
All right, check out Grace's link there. So I'm getting the coffee. I said I'm probably gonna come on, but I want coffee. All right. Got that. Susan, these really aren't anything fancy. They're West Westcott. Well, they're Westcott Titania. I think they're Walmart scissors. Um, this is just very thin fabric. And I think I'm going to, so I'm gonna just cut off this funny edge on each of them. I think this is probably all I need of this. I mean, I've got plenty of fabric that you can make multiple if you wanted as gifts. Okay. So I think I'm going to do I'm going to try four inch ties. Let me just do I'm just going to cut four inch for now and we might have to adjust that. It might have to be a little longer. Okay, easy. Take this, and because it's the gingham, and I got this at Hobby Lobby, it looks the same front and back. All I'm gonna do, oh, I know what I gotta do. I can't do this yet. I've got hemp cord. You could use other string, doesn't matter. And then I have one of those bead, it's a beading um, needle, but I flattened this top out. It was a circle. I flattened the top out so that I could still put this in. Okay, but I'm gonna be able to get it through the needles then. That actually, this side would be the side that you would put the string in, I think. Yeah, normally this side, and this would hold it on. Like, so if you were doing, I don't know, earrings or something where you stack beads, that's what you do it. But I'm using the opposite side. And should be able to, and we're just going to string a bunch of these on through the holes that we need. I'm hazardous with needles and scissors. <laughs> Grace, don't get near me. I get to meet Grace in Florida in the fall, as I'm excited. Okay. Let's do so I'm just going to string a whole bunch on. And I'm gonna start on, I just wanna make sure the string is long enough. So otherwise, well, I can still end up going off the other end if I need to. Once you start tying, like on this end, you're, you're sort of done. Thanks, Anne. So by doing those holes through here, and I said I use the bead reamer, but you certainly could do um, a drill even, and that would be even quicker. What is the string? The string is hemp. It's, um, I don't have a package here. It's hemp, you buy it by, um, by the beads and jewelry making, it's hemp. And it just comes on a roll like this. Um, you can also buy like smaller, batches of it it's usually wrapped up just on a little package on a little piece of cardboard you can get it that way too you know i am gonna poke myself because like i said i folded this over so i'd be able to use this but it's sharp because i cut that piece off right. are you hearing my birds outside so I love having the patio door open at this time of year. So 
I'm just, I don't know how many I would need. Like I said, I'm gonna start on this end and I can always put the string on the other end to add more balls if, if we need them. Okay, why am I not getting your text? Debbie, you're not getting my text because I didn't send a text this time. I forgot, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible at that. I'm sorry. The other night when I came on, though, I think, what time did I come on? It must have been almost 1030. I wasn't going to send a text at that time, but yeah, Denise, I enjoy listening to my birds. <laughs> that was a ringtone, Doris. No, it's the birds. They're... We have a feeder back here and a bird bath off of our deck, so you're hearing them. Hello, Debbie. All right, I've got one more to put, ow. Oh. So be careful if you cut off one end of this metal because <laughs> it catches you. Okay, so for an end, to have a hanger, all I'm gonna do is have this folded and wrap it around and put it through and that gives you your hanger it's not going anywhere okay and you can end up a little well we don't even have to cut that off because that'll be hidden I think no maybe what sort of birds oh we have all kinds of birds back here we have even anything from sparrows to robins. Those are just little. We have like sparklings. Those are little. But we have cardinals. We have blue jays that come back here. We've had um, indigo buntings. Um, we have hummingbirds that come right back here. Um, we have a lot. The noisy ones right now are just birds that you see everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to start moving some of these up. I probably would have enough on here. Start moving some of these up. Now we're gonna take the fabric that we cut and I'm just going to, so I'm gonna start on one end. I'm, I'm gonna just gather this around and take one of my gingham. Now I might have to do it a little longer, we'll see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do them longer. So I did those four inch. I think I'm gonna do six inch. Just I'm just experimenting here. Um, let's just do some six inch ones. They don't have to be perfect, and I did them about an inch wide. one unfolded. Thank you Ashley for passing it on. Okay my last one is just a little long. Okay now there's different ways of doing this. Um, like I said I saw it with Jude and it was so adorable and you all know I love Jude if you've watched me. Um, I love Jude so that would be my preference, but I thought I would do bright and cheery today because just because sometimes you need that. Um, this is therapeutic for me, trust me. As much as you guys maybe like watching crafters, I bet you if you ask any one of the crafters, they all will say the same thing. Okay, is that just not cute? And I'm not even gonna tie it in a double knot. I think it's fine just the way it is. All right, so I'm gonna put push this up in here and just cover, let me show you. So I just push that ball up in there and I'm just covering it up. I wonder if, okay, I might try something else. We're, we might do every other one with jute. Thanks, Grace. so easy I said this would be adorable like with bigger balls and doing it in a wreath that would be just really cute 
and just slide the next one up. See how quick and easy this would put together too? And you can adjust where the ties are. Okay, now this is the other idea. What I might do every other one, or I can show you. I don't know that I'll do it. I think I, I love this look. It almost looks like little lemons too, doesn't it? I'm going to be hopping on the Magnolia page after this, I think, too, and I'm going to do a lemon lemon craft on there. So, so this one, too, if you hold the jute so that you have extra string down here, so it make it long enough, and wrap it, this would be another way to do it. Wrap it, wrap it down. This is the way I saw it. Um, Happy Lobby was with this, but I love the idea. But look at how cute is that. So I could do every other one like that. And the reason why I left that string folded down was because now I have a tying point. So that's why you leave that string longer. And then you've got the tie down on that end. And you can just snip them off after. But so you could do two and then one so let's just try that you can always take that off and add more of these again just it's the easiest i don't even have to keep showing you but if you don't mind sticking on i'll do random act of kindness drawing at the end i'll actually you know i i'll actually do two today that's what i'll do so stick on, make sure you're commenting. I'd love it if you pass it on. Um, maybe we can try and get algorithms up. Okay, just cute. Okay, and even on that one, look at, look at what I have. B buttons. I found more, because I couldn't find my other ones the other night. But you could put like a B button in between Let's see, can you see them? You could put them in between, or you could just put them once in a while, put them on one of them. Those would be really cute on there. Or you could do, like I have the sunflower back there. You could do the sunflower every few, or you could do the sunflower right on top of here. Would that not be cute all the way across? So many ideas that you could do with this. Your mind is your limit. <laughs> Some days my mind is really limiting me. <laughs> Hello, Shirley. Well, I'm glad you're on. I'm doing well. I'm, I'm doing well. How are you doing? So if we do every other one with that uh, jute, I think that's sort of cute. Well, I hope you all like the random act of kindness drawings. Did I say that's the deal though? I was gonna do the random act of kindness drawing. Um, and the deal is, in case you're new and you don't know, is I scroll names, I pick, pick a name, and I will mail you happy mail, but then you have to do a random act of kindness for someone. That doesn't have to cost you nothing, all right? Okay, so again, I'm just going to lay this down, and I'm going to do every other one like that. I think that's sort of cute. Again, if it's done and I don't like it, I can always just take that string off and add another tie. But so again, I leave that long length here, and then I wrap it around. I'm going to wrap it to get two here. So it'll be easier if you sort of figure out how much you need to cut off on this because you don't want to have to keep moving because this is going to get longer. You don't want to have to keep doing that. Okay, and so yeah, measure one of them and do all of them the same. Okay, I think I'll do one more. 
And then because I left that one under there and we just wrapped over the top of it, I have my tie. You know, Mary, um, you know, some people have shared with me what they do. You know, some of them will actually, um, let's see, some do things for neighbors. One of them had a single mother living not far from her. She put together a movie kind of theater thing um, with babysitting tickets that she would babysit for them and she gave movie theater tickets and a little bit of money for um, going to the movie then uh, to get some popcorn or whatever, she did that. Um, you can do, oh, Christmas, absolutely. Um, you can help somebody in a store. You see a lot of people riding in the car, riding in the in the little wheelie car, cart things. Um, if they're trying to get off the shelf something that's higher, I mean, I always ask if they need help with something. Um, it's just it's just easy to do. Or somebody who doesn't even need help, and you're walking past, and they're all done with their cart, and they just unloaded their car, and you're walking up towards the store and say, "Should I take that for you?" That's a random act of kindness. Um, so that doesn't cost nothing. You could buy something in a drive-through if you want for the next, or you know something like that if you want to spend a little something. But you don't have to. A phone call that doesn't cost you anything. A phone call. Elderly people, I tell you, they they're lonely, and it's it's hard. It, it's very hard. Um, even the family does the best they can, but it's hard on the elderly. They they need that extra. Maybe just a call to say hi. It does, Mary. It does help and makes you feel good too. All right, so I think I'm just gonna do a couple more and I'll finish this off of here. I don't need to stay on all day. Um, That's absolutely right, Grace. You, my kids too. Um, you know, they they think of others, and it's it's what you do. It's it's what you do. It's what our world needs more of. You know, but it absolutely does. It makes you feel as good as it makes them feel. Honestly, maybe even better. So, it's just caring. All right. Don't these? They look like little lemons. This will go perfect with the craft I'm gonna do over on the magnolia um page i was saying should i do it on here should I, I mean i would go off of here and i could do it on here and then just share it to the magnolia page because not everybody can go on there unless you're approved to go on to that page um i could do that maybe i'll i'll stop i'll get all reset up and i'll come back on here and it'll be a perfect craft that will go awesome with this Yeah, they do look like lemons. That's why I, oh, my next craft is gonna I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do stenciling in the next one. So maybe I will do that. I'll do this, I'll share it over into the Magnolia group. And, um, but it'll take me a little bit. I'm gonna put this away, get everything back out for that. And so I'll come on in a little bit for that. So let's do random act of kindness drawing. I'm gonna do two today, just because I want to. And then we'll finish this up. Now again, the other ideas I had, Look at, I said if you do bigger, like a bigger one, and do a wreath, that would be so cute. So bigger balls and make it big, you know, you do that. The other thing I said, like a boho type wall hanging, if you had a big stick or something like that, you could do several of these and hang them down. Would that not be cute? Any color, any fabric, um, anything that matches your decor. This is just bright, cheery, summer looking. Yeah, lemons are so in this year. They really are. Thank you, Sue. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to hop off. Um, let's do the random act of kindness drawing. We're going to pick two. We're just going to go a little ways first. Um, Sue Watts, private message me your mailing address. Okay. And we'll go back farther. Marsha Bodie, B O. -D D-E, private message me your mailing address, and I'll send you both out some happy mail, and please do random act of kindness for someone, all right? So, like I said, I'm going to hop off, and I'll come back in a little bit after I get all set up, and I'll do the stenciling, and it's going to be something that's going to be really cute that will also go with this. 
Oh, Jerry, this would go so cute. You know what? You could do this with, with, your, with your friends there. Yeah, I think it sounds like UPS is back here. I'm not expecting anything. Uh-oh, he's backing up. Maybe. So I might be expecting something. <laughs> so, all right, we'll see you all really shortly. Cash.